Hey folks, Wolf Driver coming to you live. We are unloading the mushing machine, if you will. You can see the back platform is designed for Princess or for any dog that would need rest, but it's going to be Princess, that's for sure, at this point. Um, you can see this bike has got super big, cushy tires. And they happen to be orange. They were orange. They get faded by the sun. And Chris is turning it around. This trail I, I said we've never been to before. It is called the Hin Indian Head River Trail. You walk over to the sign. This is in Charles County, Maryland. Oh, it looks pretty cool there, if you can see. I'm trying to zoom in, that wasn't happening. But this is the trail sign at the trailhead. I think the trail's 12 miles. We're going to try to hit about 10 in today. And uh, this is just a little bulletin board there. What's happening? See a couple bike riders. And looks really nice. Again, it's a relatively cool day. It seems to be a uh, hard surface blacktop, which is perfect, especially on a small run. Again, I have no qualms with running on uh, hard surfaces for the dogs. Wouldn't do it all the time, but certainly there's the Jagster. He just got a drink of water. Hello, Mr. Jag. That's the Jag man. And uh, you can see he's about the fluffiest of the wolf pack. His coat is super full. Probably close to what a uh, Samoy might be. Not around the head so much you can't tell, but uh, and of course with the blue eyes, you would you would know he's not a Samoyed, but he does uh, give that appearance from far away at least. Well, that's the Jag man. What's up, Jim? And this is Jim opening the door right behind you, bud. This is the Z Man, and there's the Chaster. They are ready to roll. Those two ride together, as you see. And here's the pretty princess. Can I get her form for you? There she is. Princess! And princess, you can see, some people ask, well, why does she have, uh, why is it a little dark around her eyes? And that's just tear staining. Now, I always have it with the lighter color huskies. And as they get older, their eyes tend to get a little more leakage, if you will. And that always creates that staining. Now I do clean them daily, but still has some, some of the staining. Um, this is the, what I call the jumbo jet truck. And we're usually charging stuff, charging uh, cameras for the run. We do it on the fly sometimes because you never know what we're gonna bring. And we have the hood popped now. We're just heard a couple noises. Actually, we're charging the air conditioner system. It's a little funny in here, the AC, so. It's important to keep going, obviously, this time of year, especially for the dogs. Got the Brockway trail sign. Uh, Brockway, uh, Brockway is a truck company, kind of like Mac, that was bought by Mac in later years, uh, but they, I guess they merged them all together. They were around in about the 50s and 60s, I believe, made big trucks. As you can see, we, we attract quite a, quite a cast of characters sometimes. Everybody's interested in what's going on. This is Chris's bike, and he'll actually... Uh, possibly follow us. We might, might fly the drone today. We're not sure. We're dealing with a beautiful day again. This is what the back of the truck looks like. You can see Princess through there. Pretty. Can you say hi to the fans? <laughs> so I'm talking about wearing a camera rig, which is right here. And if I wear that, you'll get a point of view from myself. If I can get, looks like we're going to have signal. We're in a pro, more of a, um, not so much a rural area. It's more we're um, around some big cities, relatively speaking. We're not far from Baltimore and D.C. here. So we should have good cell reception, I'm hoping. And that's where we're at right now. You can always, if you ever see, that's the fur wheel. That stands for fur wheel drive. Kind of like four wheel drive, but it's fur wheel drive. If you ever see us on the road, you know that's us. One more view of the Pupsters. Again, that's the Z-Man. Right here is the Chase Man. Pretty princess. She's laying down now. Chases can be some kisses. Okay, good boys. And you'll notice also, folks, we have the air in the truck, but we also have fans. So each row, just to keep, when we stop at the air, there, there's a way to actually keep the air going. 
because I have what they call a solenoid and that'll rev the engine if I set it. One more for the Jag, man. Jag's in chill mode too. And Jag's very, oh, look at that. He just laid down. He said, oh, I don't care who's watching me. I'm laying down. Jag's very energy efficient. He will really conserve his energy so he can be the one that has the most energy at the end of everything we do. So out in the wild, if there was prey, he would be the one that would get it and do what he was going to do with it because he's the fastest because he saved all his energy where everyone else spills it quicker than him. Just something I notice about each of the dogs. That's where we're at right now, folks. So I look forward to seeing you soon out on the trail once we get set up. By the way, just a quick thing here. Here's Princess's bed going on right now. So that's how she'll ride. And here's the water, excuse me, Jim. And here's the bike. This thing is like a tractor trailer in itself. It's about 11 feet long, extremely narrow. We're talking about 32 inches narrow or so. So it's pretty cool. And uh, that's where we're at, folks. Hope to see you on the trail soon. Wolf Driver signing off.